What do you do if you lose the OTP code to your Seller Central account? Better yet, what do you do if you just don't have good account security and someone tries to breach your Seller Central account? My name is Noah Wickham. I'm sales director here at My Amazon Guy, and we're going to walk through today exactly what you should do if you forget your OTP code, you forget your password, someone tries to steal your Amazon account, anything in between, and all of the best security measures for your Seller Central account on Amazon. So, first and foremost, many people likely have set up their Amazon account with an OTP code going to a phone number. Now, this isn't necessarily wrong by any means. Amazon gives the option for you to do this, but it's not the best way to go about it. Why? Well, because yes, we have our phones on us all the time. And yes, most people don't change numbers in this day and age, but potentially you set it up under a business number. You set it up under a you know burner number of some kind, and you lost access to that number. Or potentially your phone dies and you can't get the same number recovered for some reason. Who knows? There's a million reasons as to why things could happen. And yet, here you are, you don't have your OTP code, you can't log in. What are you to do? Well, a couple of different things. It's actually not that difficult to recover the account, but it is a little bit of a process. So the first thing to understand is when you set up an Amazon account, a Seller Central account, you're also setting up a regular Amazon.com account like this one. You can see up in the top right here, it says, Hello, Noah. And that is simply because I am logged in under my typical Seller Central account, and so it also has me logged in on Amazon.com. The good part about this is that we can use that same recovery system to gain access back into Seller Central. So I'll put the link for this exact uh, URL in the description, but essentially you will be coming here for your two-step verification account recovery. And this is going to clear the current OTP for you, as well as get somebody to actually review the entirety of your OTP and your accounts for security clearance. So whether or not someone is currently trying to take over your account or whether you have just lost your phone number in general and can't get your OTP code, you can use this to regain access to your account. So first and foremost, what are you going to need? Uh, you are going to need a driver's license, state ID, voter registration card, or a passport. I personally always choose a passport. It's the most secure of them. I actually just keep my passport on my desk at all times. So that is what I would heavily advise in this scenario to do as well. Secondarily, any sensitive information such as account number, identification numbers are covered, concealed, or removed before you upload. So make sure you don't have any of that information on there. Your name and address has to be very visible on it. Now, the big uh, aspect of this is when you submit this, you will actually be getting a physical person to review it. So Amazon takes security exceptionally strong. So they typically have actual hands on eyes. This is not one of the typical seller support methods where it's just going to be clicking a button from someone. This is actually someone on the security team having to review all of this documentation. It typically is going to take one to two days. So that is accurate. It's not going to be an instantaneous process. And you really don't want it to be because they, you want someone who actually is taking the due diligence to review all of this. Once that goes through, you'll be able to reset not only your OTP method, your two-step method, but also your password as well. So these are aspects to keep in mind when you are going through uh, and doing this. Now, how should you re realistically be setting up your security on your Amazon account? Because again, OTP through your phone number is very, very, uh, I don't want to say last year, but very old in how you <laughs> go about it, right? It's not the proper method at the end of the day to really ensure account security. And so here's a couple of different steps that I like to take with every single seller central account that I either create, log on to, or anything in between. I am always trying to push people towards this. The very first thing, uh, first and foremost, would be to come over to seller central. Let's look at our login settings. So under login settings, you have a couple of different things. You have things such as passkey. Now passkey is going to be device specific. You can do things such as face ID that involves a phone nowadays. You can do things such as print, uh, fingerprint. My laptop has a little thing for fingerprint on it now, or you can even have a pin code for this. Now, pass I key, uh, pass key is not the best in the world when it comes to security, and it's not something I always recommend for every account. It's just an added layer of security. The best thing that you can possibly do, you can see down here, two-step verification. Every account should have this, and there is always going to be a phone number attached to that two-step verification as well, but I am always going to encourage people to do an authenticator app. So you can see down here, authenticator app, you can do this simply in a couple of ways. So I'll click manage on this and we can even add a new app here. So it will come up with this section here for the authenticator app. 
Uh, you can see QR code here, but if you can't scan the QR code, you can always click on this and there will be a code here for you to actually copy and paste. Now, why would you want to copy and paste? Well, you can use a QR code. So there are certain apps that you can get. So for instance, on my phone, I have a Google Authenticator app that I can quickly just take this and I can uh, you know, scan a QR code and there we go. I now have this on my Google Authenticator app. I can copy it. I can use it whenever I want, but that's not necessarily always the best because a lot of times we are working off of something like a desktop. So what do I uh, encourage people to do differently? Well, I encourage people to do things such as 1Password. So with 1Password, for instance, you can see here that I have all of this set up. Uh, I typically am going to, again, do something here where I have it with a uh, copy of this actual barcode. And then we'll go over to 1Password and we'll set it up uh, similarly to how you would just any other 1Password. So I'll do a new item here. We'll do a login. Uh, here we go. So we'll do a login and then under this add more section, you can actually go here and do a one time password. And then you would just copy and paste the code from the Amazon side onto that section. And then you can just put the OTP in and there you go. You then have a new method for one time password. Now I'm always going to encourage something like a last pass one time password because it not only will allow you to always have that one time password uh, or passcode, uh, at present at any time and place, but it also allows you to change out your password more frequently. So it will auto change out your password every so often if you set it up to set reminders for that. So these are the type of things that I'm going to encourage every seller all the time now to set up on their accounts for just an extra layer of added security to make sure that nothing bad can realistically happen on your account at any given time. I know the Amazon grind can be overwhelming, from account issues to low traffic, it's a lot to handle. That's where my Amazon guy steps in. Scan the QR code or click the link, and let's work together to boost your sales and make your life easier.